Thing. The idea is that residents can submit these forms to the city if they see a homeless encampment that they feel is in violation of city code. Then the city would have 20 days to check it out and to respond to the sender. But now the city is saying that it's already met its budgetary requirements for Measure O and it's not going to fund the positions to hold itself accountable for that 20 day deadline. Just when residents thought the city was about to lay out a timeline for responding to homeless complaints, the city announced it would not fund the positions it needed to stay on track. June 21st comes, dozens and dozens of people across the city, probably hundreds, went and they fill out this form trying to make sure that the city can start the process of cleaning up in front of them and frankly start getting those people into the services that they need. And the city's answer is, uh, we don't have to do it, we've already fulfilled our obligation. The city of Sacramento launched this new report and response system Wednesday for residents hoping to get officials to take action on homeless encampments in public areas. By filling out and submitting this notice and demand form on the city's website, the city under Measure O would inspect the location and respond to the sender within 20 days from the date it's received. If that response does not go out within a 20-day period, the concern would proceed to a hearing. But Wednesday, the city, by automated response to these notice and demands, said this. In accordance with the requirements set forth by Measure O, the city, in its approved budget for fiscal year 23-24, has allocated more than the maximum amount required from the general fund, $5 million, to meet the obligations of the measure. Because the city already has allocated more than the maximum amount required by Measure O, it has met its obligations for fiscal year 23-24 and is not required to fund additional services such as the hiring of a hearing examiner and other components of the hearing and demand process. My response is the city manager needs to do his job. The voters of Sacramento voted strongly in favor asking for Measure O to be implemented. They wanted emergency shelter, and enforcement. Measure O was approved by voters in November of 2022 and became effective on December 23rd of the same year to expend resources to take specific actions to address the homelessness crisis in the city. But groups working to solve the homeless issue say it's not working. They don't have the staff to do it right now. The DCR teams, they don't have the amount of people. Then within the private organizations, there aren't enough people to do this either. In 17 days, it's just not enough. The response email from the city does mention those submitted notice and demand forms will be routed to the Department of Community Response, which will check out the cases as quickly as possible. But Wood says that's just not what voters passed. We already know that they have the money to do this. They're just choosing not to. And the sad part is, look, you can look right out the street, right from here, and you can see homeless people camped in tents who are on drugs and need help. And the fact that the city is just unwilling to do that is unacceptable, and we're going to hold them accountable. Back out here live in Sacramento, I did take a call from the city within the last few minutes. And to clarify, the city says approximately $16 million is being deployed to meet the obligations of Measure O, which, again, is well above that $5 million requirement. But without that hearing examiner, that 20-day response deadline really means nothing. Again, we do have a link to these forms here, these notice of violation and demand to abate unlawful camping and storage forms on our website. That's fox40.com if you'd like to go fill those out and submit them. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Zach Boweto, Fox 40 News.